Hello, and welcome to another iClone 7 Academy tutorial. Today's topic will be creating a walk cycle. This tutorial will be divided in four parts. The first part will go ahead and take a diagram from the internet and show you how a walk cycle works. In the second part, we will go ahead and take the same diagra diagram, put it as a backdrop, and go ahead and try to tr and, and trace down the poses so we can get a nice smooth walk cycle out of it. In part three, we will take once the, the walk cycle is done, we will take the keys from the legs and delete them and show you an even easier way of doing the animation for the legs by using a brand new feature called Reach Effectors. And finally, once we have the cycle done, we will go ahead and bake it as a clip and apply it to a different character. So let's get to it because we have a ton of stuff to cover. So how does a walking cycle work? By the way, if you're looking for reference, just go to the internet, just do a search for walk cycle and you will find a ton of it on the internet. So we took one of some of the few that we liked and uh, we're going to based on those diagrams. So again, how do the walk cycles work? Well, let's check this one out. We're going to concentrate on this one. Basically, I know it could be very daunting seeing all these poses and trying to remember, oh my god, am I going to have to remember all of this? Really, you really don't have to. All you have to do is really learn two poses. The first one is our contact pose. This pose is when the ball of one foot hits the floor and the heel of the other foot hits the floor as well, hence the contact. Now I color coded the right limbs and the left limbs red for the right and blue for the left, so it makes it easier to understand. Now, once you understand this, then everything, the rest will be just a, a cakewalk. Now, notice here, very important, that is when the right arm moves forward, the right leg moves back, and when the left foot uh, moves forward, the left arm moves back. So, they crisscross each other. This is obviously to keep balance while you're walking, right? And also, there's going to be a slight motion of uh, the hip and the the upper torso to make the motion a little bit more natural because you know you don't, the, butt, the the shoulder and the hips are never at the same they're parallel to each other except when there is when they are at the passing pose which comes which brings us to the next pose you have to remember if you remember these two poses the rest of the walking cycle is a breeze now the passing pose is basically where <laughs> the limbs just pass each other in the middle and this is the one pose where the hips are straight and the shoulders are straight and the arms hang down and you have one leg that is straight up and one leg that is uh, straight down. So if you remember these two poses, the rest uh, is just a mirror function. So if we create our next pose, which is our mirror contact pose, which is a, an exact duplicate, but mirror of this pose right here. In other words, since our right arm moves forward, now on this one, it moves back. And since our left foot moves forward, now our right foot moves forward. And vice versa for the left. So, um, next, we mirror the uh, passing pose again where instead of the left foot being straight up, it's our right foot straight um, straight down, sorry. And then where our right leg uh, moves up, now our left leg moves up. In other words, a mirror pose of this. And we end the cycle on the, as, in the same frame or the same pose as the first contact pose. And this is what closes the full walking cycle. With these five poses, you end up with Pretty much a full walk cycle. However, to make it more natural, they created what they're called the up and down poses or the recall high point poses. So once you have these poses down, then you can go ahead and play with the up and down poses. And we'll show you how to do this with a curve editor, which makes it super easy. And um, notice here that the recoil basically is to 
create an anticipation pose to our high point pose. So we can go the down and up and down and up. Now, once you're done with this pose, we go ahead and create the same pose as a mirror for the second part of the cycle. And then we're going to go ahead and create our high pose here, of course, in with a mirror version of that. Now, the high pose, notice that, that the full body is being lifted all the way to the tip of the foot, uh, to the ball of the foot to create a, a, the, the most possible height. So that way you get a good uh, down and up uh, motion. So you get this nice bouncy step to, to your character. So by the time we're done with all of this, basically, we're going to end up with something like this. Now look at here, if I do it here a little bit faster, he kind of looks like he's skipping, right? And this is a brings us another another topic we will discuss later, which is basically spacing and timing. So if you space that enough, he instead of walking, he looks like he's hopping. So uh or galloping, right? So um that's actually very important. And we'll, and this is a, that will be a topic we'll, we'll definitely hit on another another tutorial. So, what, what does the walk cycle will look like after we're done with all of this? It will look something like this. Pretty cool, right? Okay, on the next tutorial, we will go ahead and show you how to do this uh, walking cycle inside Icon.